yeah so what is thinking if you want to learn how to think faster let's define what is thinking basically thinking is conceptualization visualization imagination they are interrelated everything is interrelated this is what thinking is all about right now let's go thousands of years back when uh, the written text was invented for the first time by human beings yeah the way to communicate they must have first uh, learned how to draw if i wanted to communicate to you a tiger 1000 years ago i would have drawn a picture okay a crude picture of a tiger to convey you that i want to tell you a tiger am i right then later on we realized the the problem that it takes lot of space and time so we replace those images with symbols so a horizontal line with a vertical line is t a single straight line is i so t i g e r a collection of these symbols represents an image called tiger this is how getting, this is how the language evolved yeah this is how the language evolved right yeah. here lies the whole problem our mind is naturally wired to see pictures not those symbols so actually reading doesn't come naturally to us our mind our brain is not made naturally to read those symbols we are naturally made to see pictures see justin <laughs> i know i know it's very counterintuitive no. <laughs> but i i can i am very sure you'll get convinced in next 5 minutes have you ever somebody uh, uh complaining have you ever heard somebody complaining that i find it very hard to scroll those instagram feeds i find it very difficult to watch movies nobody says this because we are naturally wired yeah to see movies the word movie itself is moving images right but everybody says that i find it difficult yeah. to read a book i doze off after reading five pages i leave the books half read because we are not naturally made to read yeah. <laughs> all right the symbols yeah. are are articles symbols means the letters the alphabets right now here comes yeah yeah now what we have to do exactly we have to train our mind to convert those symbols into visual pictures as fast as possible all right for that you have to ignore the individual words for example the line i am talking to justin this is a meaningful line okay we are taught since childhood to read each word one word at a time i am talking to justin there lies a big problem now if i isolate the word i although it is a meaningful word it has no meaning in the context the word i doesn't give you any message yeah. okay so the words are just the messengers the message lies in the group of words now if i join another two words with the word i i am talking now i am talking as a is a meaningful phrase it has a larger picture and another phrase to justin gives more meaning and gives a bigger picture so i am talking yeah. is one meaningful phrase to justin is another meaningful phrase and then we get the whole meaning so what we have to do is we have to train ourselves to read those meaningful phrases and ignore those individual words yeah that's that's exactly what we have to do that's exactly what is all about increasing your thinking speed